Hey guys, it's Ria here and welcome to a slightly different format of Sims 4 on my channel. Now, I have been encouraged mostly by my best friend to try out doing building and speed builds with voiceover. So here we are. And for the very first video, I wanted to try and do a honeycomb. Now, I've seen these float around on YouTube and on Instagram quite a lot the past week and I wanted to give it a shot. What I didn't see, however, is anybody uh, doing a honeycomb that actually resembles a honeycomb, meaning that they don't necessarily use the golden rich colors of the honey and the yellows, maybe even some accentuated blacks. So that's what I want to try and do today. I say we first get our shape done and usually I will go with a 3x3 three three. and this is a diagonal room so what I want to do next I think I will keep it on short maybe on high I'll see how it goes basically what I want to do is get a honeycomb shape which means that I will copy paste this room a lot and i think i will bring you back once i have the shape in and here we have our basic honeycomb shape what i did it was just copy paste this room over and over again until i got the wanted result then i proceeded to remove these front walls over here as well as the ceiling now before we get into the color scheme i do want to try and add some uh, black details because honeycombs are normally associated with honeybees and I do want to have some black accents to the whole yellowy goodness we will have here. So I will just go ahead and actually filter through colors to get a nice black column. I do believe I will just grab the one from dine out or maybe not because it does have this little piece over here maybe we will just grab the snowy escape one this looks nice so i will go around try and put it all around over here and if possible i will also try and get some nice trim on the edges to kind of accentuate the whole build so i will do that and once again bring you guys in once it's done okay here we are back with our shape i use black columns on the outside as well as this uh fence over here to just give the whole shape a basic outline then i went in with these i believe they are city living columns if i'm not mistaken yes uh in yellow to fill out the yellow and as well as this yellow trim just to also get the honeycomb chain a bit more accentuated now for the flooring i think i will go with something really basic something that also has a honeyly glow to it i think this one from the outdoor retreat one works really nicely and I'm not really sure just yet how I want to layer it out. I know I do want to have a like a patio section, a a living room, dining kitchen, maybe even a study over here. And then we will have a bedroom and a bathroom over here. So let's try and once again go for maybe yellowy tones this one would work very nicely this also has very nicely like honeycomb shaped tiles as well so the vampires the vampire styles really really fit nicely over here and for the wallpaper i will see also what i want to do well maybe if i'm going with a patio now that i'm thinking of it i should probably change this to 
something else and these two are not exactly a nice option so let's see if we can find something that's more brownie in color or this this works very nicely it does kind of give off a rustic vibe but it will do the job i believe now let's go here let's go into masonry and see if we can oh yes this will work very nicely the cottage living stones over here for our kind of patio area and then i believe i do want sidings and panelings to actually go over in the dining area so maybe this this also has like a brownie but also kind of golden vibe to it from island living i do love this yes then let's go ahead and choose a wallpaper for our living room over here i will also filter this through to yellowy tones and preferably yellowy tones with like these like with uh, the brown or the black details will work very nicely because that's the general vibe i want to go with now maybe over here these from i believe this is vintage glamour would work very nicely as well but it's kind of a busy wallpaper i'm not necessarily sure if i want to use this or maybe this to like reduce the busyness with the white background that does look and work good or maybe we just go with the dream home decorator i do believe that i will go with the dream home decorator over here this is kind of too yellow no I'm trying to see, maybe I will just go ahead and use the same wallpaper for our study as well. Then let's go ahead with the tiles in our bathroom. I will again filter it to yellow with the black accent and the white from, I believe, Realm of Magic. Yes, this works very, very nicely over here. And then over in the kitchen, now what to do here? I kind of do want to have it... Maybe one side, well not necessarily one side, we can do... Brick again, I think. Maybe a bit more rustic vibe to it again once... Once again with the cottage living ones, or maybe even the the country kitchen. Let's actually see if this has a more yellowy tone to it, but I'm not necessarily sure if I like this. Maybe this one. This one as opposed to this. Yes, it's more dark. And I do believe it looks very nicely. Okay, so we have our wallpaper selection, we have our flooring selection as well, so let's go ahead and work on the very first room. Now, I usually do my rooms uh, sorted through objects by room, and since I have outdoors selected first, let's go ahead and work with this. Now, I do want to put in an entrance. And I believe, oh, nifty knitting doors. I do love them. I do love this. So let's put one over here. And it also comes in yellow. Maybe if it has a black accent. No, it doesn't. So let's leave it at this. We also have the beautiful, beautiful flowers over there. I do want to have a sitting area. But let's put down a grill first. Mm, let's go with this one. We can use the black one because I do want to have black accents to it. And while I'm at it, let's actually get some doors, uh, not doors, windows in as well. Mm, maybe this, these ones from Cottage Living, once again, they work really nicely. Maybe also, or let's actually filter through yellow and black to see what kind of selection we are actually working with 
I do love these stained winnows. Maybe we go with... The industrial loft kit? No, no, I'm not necessarily a fan of them for this build. Or maybe we go with yellow stained glass, but it does clash because of the brown. Mm. Realm of Magic again, not necessarily what I'm looking for. Well, until I decide, I will bring you guys back. Maybe I'll even decorate the patio as well. All right, and here we are back. I did end up using uh, these base game windows in a yellow swatch, and then I went ahead and decorated our little patio area. So we have our kind of back door entrance into the house with uh, nifty knitting plants. We also have a yellow mailbox, a black grill. I did put up some black and yellow decorations as well as these plants and I did generally just add a lot of uh, yellow and yellowy toned things to wrap up and decorate this place. Now that we are done with our patio I would say let's go inside and do our living room and I do want to go for that really cozy and homey vibe so i would say we pick up and pick out one really really cozy couch i could go for the one that i used already on the patio just so we have uh matching also furniture but that doesn't necessarily need to be like that i could go with this one i feel like this is a really really nice couch i tend not to use it at all which is also a shame or we could go with this one from the industrial loft mm, i'm not necessarily a fan of that uh let's see what our options are over here oh this one my all-time favorite couch from <laughs> paranormal stuff back and i do believe we have matching matching chairs uh lounge chairs for that as well or we could just go with some pillows over here with yellow and them. Um, i do like this as well and let's get maybe a rocking chair a rocking chair would look nice over in this early direction and then maybe we even choose a fireplace Now these are blue heavy. This one is too modern. Maybe the vintage glamour stuff one. Or actually let's choose the one from Cottage Living. I am a big fan of the Cottage Living expansion pack. And I love what they did with the items. And the swatches are also beautiful. So it's definitely definitely worth getting and worth playing with as well now for the table i say oh this is a very nice one but also a very big one or maybe one maybe we take one with some black accents as well because it is a yellow heavy room as is now so I'm sorry, I am changing my mind. I am using this one from, from Paranormal. Or maybe even this one. It does have the dark tones to it and also yellow flowers as well. We do need a TV as well. And if I put this one... Oh, it fits actually perfectly on there. It's perfectly flat with the fireplace and i do believe it's functional as well do we have it in okay i think we will leave it in black just to just to contrast the colors and i will i think i will clutter it up add maybe windows to make it look more uh homey as well and bring you guys back once i'm done with it all right, our living room is almost ready. I did see now that I forgot a 
rug and i will change that immediately maybe even this one this one looks really really nice does it have a different swatch this is green hmm. i do want to keep it as is like this maybe pull it maybe even put it like this instead so it doesn't go under the fireplace over there but yeah this is our living room Ooh. we have uh cats and dogs windows i also put up uh, yellow curtains we have a little uh cross stitching and knitting nook as well with our rocking chair a few mismatched lamps but i think it adds to the vibe we are going for and lots of plants in yellow and other colors it did clutter up the the fireplace itself as well with a few statues and some more plants and i do love these butterflies over here i think we will move to the kitchen now and for that i do want to use the country kitchen counters it will be tricky to actually put them together because of the because the lot itself is on a diagonal but we will see how it goes there we go i do believe i want to have a stove over here so let's pick one hmm which one maybe even the one from from jungle adventure and we will add a couple more counters over in this area as well just so they match over here another one over here and i do want to have a fridge over in this corner and maybe we'll go with a black one just because everything else so far is yellow let me scoot it over here Maybe we go ahead and do an island as well, but I'm not really sure how to do it, considering maybe even on a diagonal like this, but it does kind of look weird. Maybe I'll add a small breakfast nook over here instead, so let's see how to do this. Again, with the country kitchens stuff i do believe yes and then some black chairs to contrast maybe even from cats and dogs beautiful so let's scoot this over here so we have a little breakfast nook type of thing maybe i'll add a window over here and actually swap this out so we have a sink over over here i will go with a black one just to again accentuate it a little bit more and i will bring you guys back once i have the whole kitchen done all right i do believe this is our kitchen done i did play around with the colors a bit more so in the cabinets i chose to go with uh yellow like end pieces and then in the middle black just to again have this uh, b vibe going i also added a couple of plants over here a little little uh curtain over there just so you can see the yellow because the whole thing is green i do believe you can actually see the green green just a little bit but it doesn't really matter we also have a cute bin for our garbage a couple of plants some wall decor i went with fairy lights over here just to give it a more also fairy like style vibe a bit of clutter over here and i did play a bit around with the rugs now to go to the actual dining area this i pictured it to be more formal so let's go ahead and see if we can find something that is more formal and also a bigger table that will fit everybody around but also fit into the room because this is a three by three so we are kind of constrained a bit there 
I could go with this dine out table. This is quite nice. Maybe even in black and then have yellow chairs around. Or this is actually a cute one from. I don't even remember which pack this is. Oh goodness, let me let me just uh check real quick over here. Movie hangout, yes. I do believe we will go uh with this one unless I find something better, but it doesn't look like it. This is a bit too modern. This has this um like used vibe to it and it also has the yellows and the blacks we are looking for so i believe i will go with uh this one and then for the chairs let's see what our options are over here maybe these and then have them be like this and have the other half be black but that gives off a modern vibe so not necessarily a good choice over here. Uh, let's see what else we have. We could go for Dream Home Decorator, but that also gives off a modern slash contemporary vibe. So not necessarily what I'm looking for. Or these from Cats and Dogs. And it would match the, the turkey's blues that we have going on in the middle. Uh, let me just put the chairs around and see how see how this feels. It feels kind of nice and it does incorporate the blues that we have going on all over the place. So I do believe we will go with this. I also forgot to mention for the kitchen, I used the Strangerville windows, which I do believe I will use over here as well just go over here and one over here or maybe even we do them like this and just scoot these over like so mm, i do like this and then we have a wall over here for warriors paintings and other wall decor that we didn't actually use except for these two rooms over here so i will wrap this room up clutter it up and bring you back once i'm done all right i do believe we are done with the formal dining area i did end up uh, changing the swatch of the table because the black and yellow really were way too bright for the other softer tones that we had going and it's basically the same table, just matching the tones a bit more. We also have the same, the same Strangerville uh, windows that we had going in the kitchen. Also, uh, I believe curtains from uh, Eco Lifestyle. I also had put up this bar moment over here because it felt it's was kind of an empty space and I wanted to fill it with something that doesn't that doesn't necessarily uh, <laughs> go with the style I was going for but I think it ended up really nicely and I also found these uh, pictures that have the golden and black uh, frames to it and they also match in color with the blues and the greenish blues that we have going in the whole dining area. Now over here is going to be a study slash, I would say arts, arts and crafts room. So let's go ahead and choose a desk. Since we are going for kind of a more homey and more rustic style, I do believe we want to use a table that matches that aesthetic. So we might even go with the paranormal stuff pack desk which is pretty nice. Or maybe we even grab a nifty knitting one. I do believe the nifty knitting one adds more to it. So we have this and we have this. Since we are going with kind of bluish undertones throughout the whole build, I will use the blue variant with the yellow top as well we will also grab ourselves a nice yellowy computer 
and a chair. I do believe I do want the chair to be in black just to have these B accents again. I do believe this one will fit very nicely. Then we also want a couple of bookshelves since we didn't manage to actually get any in the living room. Uh, I love these from Moschino, but they obviously give off a very modern vibe. So we will not use these. We will, however, try and use maybe cats and dogs. Though no, that's a really, really rustic vibe that I'm not necessarily a fond of. But this one, I do believe the realm of magic is a bit more toned down it doesn't have these uh these details over here and it is in black so that being this big and in black allows us to add more yellowy details to it i want to also have an easel over here if possible that's a microphone I might not be able to find it because I have the color selection open. We can definitely add a uh, guitar. And let's go ahead. Yes, there are easels. Easels, yeah. It's not in the color scheme we are going for, but maybe, maybe we are going to be able... This is actually a really nice one. So let's have this going over in this direction. Uh, maybe even a couch, I think, would be nice over here from Nifty Knitting. I do love these, both couches and the seats. And we can also go with a poof or two over here. There we go. And what else can we take? I do think I will put up windows once again. I will also probably add another skill item over here. Maybe another music instrument or a pumpkin carving table. That would be also very interesting. Let me scoot this over here then and see if I can put it up over here so it has this kind of... Kind of little arts and crafts nook. But it doesn't really fit. Well, I will see how I will wrap up this room and then bring you back once I'm done. All right, and here is our study slash arts and crafts slash skills room. I did go with a slight more modern vibe with the sectionals from Dream Home Decorator. I also put a, a rug from the Industrial Loft Kit and changed the swatch to these brownish colors. Because I do feel that it wraps up the room quite nicely. We have our computer with a bit of clutter as well as the guitar. I did remove the black poof, but I kept the yellowy blue one just because it goes with the color scheme we are going for. I added these little shelves over here and cluttered them up a little bit as well as added this uh, kind of a painter's reference uh, item over here. We also have a chess area and ooh, there it is. Our easel with our sand for paints and brushes. Now the last two things we have to do are the bathroom and the bedroom and I do believe I will start with uh, the bedroom. So I will take the windows from cats and dogs because i don't necessarily want to mix up too many different styles because yeah we have three different uh window styles so i will try and be consecutive from now on and use the same one uh let's go for a uh kind of more rustic bed if we are able to find one i also have to turn back on my black and yellow filters just to see what we have in the selection. I love this uh, varnish bed. 
But I also love this one. Ooh, this one looks really, really nice. Maybe we can add some, like, banisters over here uh, and play around with that. But I do first and foremost want to... Ooh. Oh, because it's... Okay. Do I need to go one down? I do. Okay, my bad. I do want to go with these cats and dogs and table because, again, they look very worn out. Rustic and rustic, again, is the vibe we are going with. Now let's pick up a dresser as well. And I'm not necessarily sure which one I want. Again, from the cats and dogs in a more yellowy tone maybe in a brown one mm. no it will clash too much maybe this one not necessarily this one either maybe we can grab the cats and dogs one in black because we don't have any black present as of yet and i do believe i will scoot the bed Kind of over here and match the window as well then. So just so we have access to the bed, even though the build is not functional at all. I will add a mirror as well. Probably a standing mirror or a wall mirror. Let's see what our choices are first. This one is kind of nice. Oh, this one from uh, Jungle Adventure is also really nice. And let's see if we can get a more yellowy swatch. No, so let's keep it like this with the black. And also add a rug is what I want to do over here as well. No, not necessarily that one from City Living. This one is too Big, even though we could shrink it down we could go for this one and wrap up uh, and have it wrap up with the blue and yellow scheme we ended up going with I do think I want to do it yes I will also finish up Adding uh, stuff that we need, for example, curtains and the likes, and then bring you back to see the end result. Here is our bedroom finally done. I did end up adding curtains to act as a balustrade. Banisters, I'm not even <laughs> sure how they are called, so I do apologize if I uh, called them wrongly. Now, we do have our... Oh! Fairy lights over here as well. I added some uh, magazines over here, some plants. Uh, I cluttered it up a little bit. You can see it from over here. I added even a little candle, even though next to the curtains and the plants, it might end up a hazard. We also have a bit of dream home decorator as well as base game clutter. And that's about it for the bedroom. And now last but not least, we have the bathroom. And for the bathroom, I will once again use the cats and dogs uh, window over, over on here. So I can have maybe a bathtub over here. Let's actually try it right away. Now we do have quite the space. I usually don't have such big bathrooms in my build. So this is going to be a challenge to fill it up and make it look very nice. Now let's yellow and black. Uh, choose yellow and black as our filter again. And see what we have for options. This is a really nice bath. I do believe I want to put, not necessarily in this corner, because I do want to have my my counters over there for the for the sink and such. But what we can do is remove the filters, go into 
half walls and actually section this off maybe a bit tad bit smaller let's go like this and then we can scoot the bathtub over here maybe even raise the windows up by one or two just so they don't have to deal with the trim over here and speaking of trims i want to go with a black vibe and we will also color the half wall in the same tiles as we have going on in the whole bathroom what i also want to do over here in this little spot i will put the filters back on just so we have it easier and i will also want to choose a toilet so we have at least a bit of privacy once we go there i think or realm of magic it's it's kind of tricky i want to have it yellow just so it contrasts the tiles but i think we will have to settle for this light yellow base game one and it actually fits perfectly over here it's also kind of tricky to get the right camera angle for this i also want to put a trash can over in this area and i think we will go with the children's one there we go and back into the bathroom area we will choose toilet paper which i can find because it probably doesn't have any existing swatches so we can put the toilet paper over here easily accessible now what I want to do over here in this area is put up some counters. I'm not necessarily sure which ones just yet, but let's see what our options are. Um, we might go for base game ones because there is a lot of black going on and I do want to have it yellow or at least as yellow as possible. We might go again for the country kitchen ones. Not country kitchen ones, the... Oh goodness, the <laughs> cottage living ones and scoot them a bit over. Maybe even delete this one and get an end piece instead. Like this and then have a double sink. Which will be in a light golden yellowy tone then we have our mirror i do believe this one will work very nicely it also has a little shelf now i want to put up also something like this in this area so it completes i do want to think i think i do want to put a shower over in this area so let's just go ahead and see how how it will work not a shower with a bathtub but just a shower i do believe it will look a bit silly and now that I think of it, this also kind of looks out of place because we do want to go with a more rustic vibe. So let's once again go into bathtubs and see what our options are. And maybe the cats and dogs one isn't all that bad. It is a very, very yellow, well, almost golden actually tone with a black inside these are all too fancy or maybe i do believe princess cordelia's bathtub actually does the trick so let's go ahead and choose this one it isn't black but it's a darker black and unla unlike the unlike the tiles or we can actually go with white and golden and have the golden accents just stand out and act as a filler instead of the yellow okay i'll see what i do with this empty space over here and i'll bring you guys back once i'm done and here it is our final room the bathroom is all 
done. I ended up adding a lot of clutter on this little uh, mirror shelf that we already had. I added some soap, some towels, makeup tray, all the other essentials, a stool with more towels, some candles for an ultimate relaxation in the bathtub. This plant is sadly <laughs> clipping a bit through the half wall, but we'll deal with it. And we also have a little sitting area again with the rustic stool and some more plants on it. And I think we are finally done with our honeybee and honeycomb inspired honeycomb dollhouse now i do want to mention once again that this lot is absolutely not functional but yeah i had tons of fun building it i hope you had uh, also fun watching me build it and i will leave this in my gallery so you can download it maybe play around with it change stuff like like you want uh, my origin ID is Bewitched by Stars, and you will, I believe, I will rename this into the Bee Honeycomb, and I will do it right now, just so I don't forget it. Now, if you like what you've seen here, you're more than welcome to like, comment, and subscribe, and also if you want to keep up to date, I have uh, my socials. You can find me on Twitter at RiaPlaysYT. You can find me on Instagram on two accounts. Even my main YouTube channel account is at RiaPlays, where you can find all information regarding upload schedules, when new episodes come out, and the likes. And my Simstagram account is at SimBuildsByRia, where I post my Sim builds, detailed screenshots. And also any other related Sims information and Sims stuff. Now, before we wrap up this episode, I do want to put this column in. Because for some reason it disappeared. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next build episode. Bye!